Marco Rubio likes football. Uh, and apparently he put together a video where he talks about it. Let's take a look. Did you get that? Uh, Super Bowl pick this year. My Super Bowl pick this year is the same one I've made for the last uh, 40 years, the Miami Dolphins. Super Bowl pick winning percentage. I have never gotten a Super Bowl right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's your fantasy football team name? I've had different names. This year, I think we're going to call it the Marco Polos. More nervous before first presidential debate or first college football game? I was more nervous before my first college football game, because you were actually going to get hit. No one was going to hit me at the debate. Most underrated president? Probably Truman. I don't think we give him enough credit for the difficult decisions he had to make at the end of the Second World War. Harder to recover, Hillary's emails or Tom Brady's text messages? I uh, think it's been harder to get Hillary Clinton's emails, and a lot more meaningful was in those emails. NFLer who would make the best politician? Peyton Manning. He's a pretty good communicator, if not Aaron Rodgers. Most important preparation for a big game or big speech? Make sure that there's water nearby. Like right now. <laughs> All right, I like that he poked fun at himself at, that, at the very end. The, all the, like, football lingo, I have no idea what he was talking about. I don't think he does either. I mean, so, <laughs> like, I mean, they claim that he went on a football scholarship uh, to school. They never say the school, so we had to look it up. It's Tarkio College, yeah. which, you know, God bless the good folks at Tarkio, never heard of it before. So I only say that in regards to it's not like he was middle linebacker for USC. Okay, you're like, I don't know what he played. He probably played mm -hmm. Water Boy. Well, we have. <laughs> we have. Oh, my God. Uh, for Tarkio College. We actually have um, a play that he did when, to, from his football days. You want to take a look oh, at yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Take a look. <laughs> that was at an Iowa uh, event uh, earlier this year. Uh, to be fair to him, it was a perfectly fine pass. It was the kid's fault. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, by the way, it was that, that kid had. He needs to work on his hands. But He's like four years old. <laughs> hey, at four years old, if you're playing football, you can catch it. Oh so my God. um. This is the <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Go on. Now. Toughen up, kiddo. No, no. Uh, there's no participation awards for that kid. Loser. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 Insult hey, to injury. I did not reject him. Bootstraps. Throw some bootstraps. Maybe he'll catch those. So no. The thing <laughs> but look, it, I do agree with Jr. Life lessons, man. You know, what's a Republican going to do to you? Hit you in the head. You better get ready. <laughs> so and he fell too, so he can't even pick him up. So anyway, I'm sorry. We looked up, I looked up Liverpool Tarkio College. Um, he went there from 89 to 90, the one year on a football scholarship. I cannot pinpoint what position he played, but I mean, we're guessing maybe a cornerback, maybe a running back. It was a small I, school. Dude, it was I a don't really know, small man. school. So, so I, there's something fishy about that. I don't want to get too into it, but like, here's what politicians love to do they're professionals at bragging, right? And so this guy was, I went to football and I got a scholarship. Which position? You never mentioned which position. All right. It, it was it was all over Tarkio's like history and stuff. It didn't have his name on that list, but everything said he played from eighty nine to ninety. It's it's in the it was in the NAIA, so it wasn't NCAA. It was really small. It was like a community college type of thing. Yeah. And um, so they went one and eight that year, um, and then they the whole school went defunct in like ninety two. So two years later. Oh, I love it. So Marco Rubio Marco Rubio drove the school underground. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He hit the school in the head like he did with that four-year-old. All right, so now look, if you noticed, there was no real specifics for a football fan there. Okay, now yeah, we're picking it apart, but he—he's the one that did the video. We didn't ask him to do the video, right? We didn't ambush him with a question about uh, football, right? football, <laughs> right? Okay, who would make a great politician? Uh, Peyton Manning, very very bold. <laughs> no, he said that Peyton Manning is a good communicator. Is that true? Because I, from he, what I remember, you hate Peyton Manning. Correct. Right? And I remember you criticizing the way that he communicates specifically. I could be wrong about that. No, no, no. He's great at saying Omaha. Omaha! Omaha! Okay, all right. Anyway. No, no. My distaste for Peyton Manning as a football player and a person is a different matter, but he is very likely to be a Republican prick. So Rubio is probably right in that pick. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. 
be careful what you ask for. You might get a little, something a little different than you think with Aaron Rodgers. But he picked like two of the best known quarterbacks. It's not like he was like, hey, here's my favorite safety in football or my favorite defensive end. Yeah. There's, there's, and then your fantasy football, and you're going to name it the Marco Polos. That's like the first thing you'd ever pick in the first year, and you apologize to everybody for being not so creative. Yeah. Right? This is your how many year playing fantasy football? And you're like, oh, this year I'll try the Marco Polos. <laughs> right? Yeah, I dismiss you. I dismiss you out of hand.